welcome guys, welcome all you AFC Bournemouth fans to my channel AFCB Sam. Now today, it's just going to be a little bit of an insight of what you're going to expect on this channel and we're going to have a bit of talk about recent news that broke yesterday regarding our club AFC Bournemouth. Now, a few of you may know or recognise that my accent is not quite like your guys. If you are from the south, then it's nothing like the South. Now, that's because I did leave Bournemouth when I was about eight or nine due to personal issues, and now I'm now living in Birmingham. But don't get me wrong, I'm still a hardcore AFC Bournemouth fan. So, if any of you guys go to every single home game, away game, whatever, I would love to hear some of your stories about the uh, the atmosphere, what the ground was like, what the team was like, what the players played like, etc. Because, yeah, I can watch the game on stream, but I don't get the full, like picture of what actually happened if you know what i mean so today what can you expect from my channel afcb sam now if a lot of you may or may or may not know i actually have a fifa youtube account mr hypers so i i, ba I basically make videos about fifa so this whole video thing isn't too new to me obviously i'm quite experienced in it and uh yeah so you're gonna see some afc bournemouth career mode fifa 16 career mode um, if you're interested, then drop a subscribe. Um, and then, obviously, my maybe, depending on the circumstances and whatever, because I'm actually at university, so my housemates around me get priority when it comes to me filming videos. So, either post or pre-match thoughts of whoever we're playing, um, expected lineups that we could potentially play, and uh, any news that breaks regarding the club. Like today, the breaking news that broke yesterday was... We're actually really close to signing Iturbe from Roma. Now, it's I think the loan deal costs us two two million euros, I think, which is around one point six million. Um, and I, I'm not too sure what to expect, to be honest with you, because if this deal does go through, and don't get me wrong, he is a fantastic player and he's labelled the new Messi. However, in Roma or in Serie A, should I say, he's played nineteen games. And scored one goal this season. Now, is that really good enough for someone of like the Premier League standard? Yeah, I know he's 22. I know he's young. Um, but one goal in 19 games for a right winger is is that really a player we want to be signing? Now, obviously, he is a fantastic player with loads and loads of potential. But the other big deal is we have the option to permanently buy him at the end of the season. However, that fee is 16 million. Now, if we get relegated, touch wood, we don't. Like, I don't think we will get relegated. But if that scenario happens, I don't think we'll sign him on a permanent basis because 16 million for a championship player is ridiculous. Well, even that, I don't think he would come to us on a permanent deal if we were a championship club. No offence to us or the championship, I just don't. So, if we stay up, would we take a risk on 16 million? Because, yeah, it's not a lot in football. But when it comes to our club, I think Tyrone Mings is our record signing at 9 million. I think, I think, I could be wrong. But he's definitely around that region. Now, 16 million for me. If he comes to us, which hopefully he does, and he does absolutely fantastic. Because I can actually see, imagine this. Imagine our front three when they're all fit. Gradle on the left. Wilson on the like centre forward and Iturbe on the right. That is dangerous. That is pace. That is skill. That is amazing. And then we've obviously got the likes of like um, Joshua King in behind. We can have Harry Arter in behind if he doesn't want to play sitting. We've got bags and bags of options when we go attack. Um, obviously, currently we've got quite limited due to the injuries that we've got. But yeah. Um, so, one Iturbe. Comment down below what you think. And uh, if we should take the risk on him, because it looks like it's going to happen either today, tomorrow, or even on the 1st of Jan when the window actually does open. So, it could be exciting times for us Bournemouth fans. I'm not get, Don't get me wrong, it could be quite exciting if that's the way that Eddie's going for like young, potential, bit good players. So, hopefully we, we, we get that and hopefully he is going down that route because we do need something in January. I'm not getting don't get me wrong, we do need something. We're linked with a CBA goalie as well. I can't remember his name, but he looks okay um from what I've seen stats wise and whatever. But yeah, stats don't always tell a story. Like he could be getting bags and bags of assists. I didn't look at that. He could be 
creating chances for, for goal scoring opportunities. You don't I don't know. But one goal in nineteen games isn't really the best form you want to have going into a Premier League side that is hoping to avoid relegation. But anyway guys, that is all for today. If you have enjoyed and you look forward to the future like I'm sure you are like I am, subscribe and like the video. Come follow me on Twitter, it's AFCB Sam and um yeah, in the links below in the description, I've got my, my YouTube channel, my Saka channel, I've got a clothing line, I've got everything. My Twitter, like everything. Go and drop it a like or subscribe or follow or just go and check them out. And uh, yeah, give me time because the AFCB career mode, sorry, career mode? Career mode is starting very soon. Um, obviously, my main channel will take priority over anything. So team of the year, if you are into FIFA 16, as you know, is around the corner. So yeah, but... Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I may see you soon with either a career mode video or a potential Crystal Palace starting 11 and how I think the game will turn out. And yeah, so take care. Adios, and I'll see you all later. Up the cherries.